cargo processing. And another body. An operator dispenser. Isn't that nice? Uh, which direction's what? Okay, hi. Cargo transfer doors malfunction, reactivation required, cargo stalled inside. I want cargo. Can I have the cargo? Oh, what do those do? An event of malfunction to cargo processing requires manual reactivation. The system must be activated by from, from both guts and cargo bay within eight minutes. Otherwise, the system must be reactivated. Oh. Oh. So I need to have a way into cargo and be able to press the button and then also press it here within eight minutes of each other. So it's not quite simultaneous, but it implies you have people on both sides at once, essentially. Or in my case, probably with the equivalent of like having to do a quick speed run type thing. From Ash, Lazier, Lazier, to Edward Douglas. Are you ready? Okay, Edward, I'm in position in the, here in the cargo bay. Once I execute the cargo processing command on this end, we will have limited time to activate it on your side and guts. That should reestablish the cargo transit. Thank you for helping me with this. Next time, I promise I will not forget my transcribe. I swear I had it with me this morning. It's it's like it just grew legs and walked away or something. The instant you ping me, I will trigger this, this side, Ash. Oh. So he's in the cargo bay. He may or may not still be in the cargo bay. It looks like that's probably Edward Douglas dead over there. So that guy forgetting his, his, uh, what's it called? Him forgetting his transcribe led to him coming out here to press the button and apparently dying in the, tr in the process, which is messed up. So I might want to try it just in case. What does guts processing do, by the way? And should I be grabbing that guy's body first? Hey, cargo processing. So we have a time limit for that. Must activate in cargo bay, right. So he's not there, is he? Alright, and I don't know how to get there even, so it's not gonna work out. Uh, I can come back when I figure it out. But right now I don't really know where I am very well. I assume you can't just press the button right here, right? I have to go inside? Oh. Oh. I seem to have access. Can I open that? I want to go in there, too. Try the way out on the way back, I suppose. I could just go in here. So I have a time limit to get to be between two spots, and then I can activate it. Okay. We'll see how reasonable that is now. I'm guessing enemies are nearby, so I'm probably not going to want to run there. Microgravity detected. But I can go press the other button, then come back to press this button instead. Oh god, we're still in flying mode. Okay. Just gonna try to fly fast while doing this. Is it through here? How the hell do you tell where you are? Apparently it's this way. Do you open? Apparently not. Not having a consistent up and down definitely screws with me. Is this, uh... Oh. That was probably not the best plan. He's probably gonna attack me now. So I need a way through there. Oh. Okay. Back to having gravity. Interesting. Just doing a sneaky. He'll never suspect a thing. Ba! 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 How's that working out for you? Anyone else? Doing a quick chomp. Oh crap, forgot about that stuff. Okay, uh... You. Uh, do do do. Uh. Uh huh. 
Huh. That was easy. I thought that would take way longer than that, given the, the long time limit they give you. Weird. I can open the cargo door now. Yep, that's the first one. No worries, Ash. I'll sit here. Fire away, Eric. Ash, you still there? I can't wait here too much longer. Zero G really upsets my stomach. Eric. Ah, so Ash died first. Because Eric was out there trying to contact him and he was gone. Okay, well now I'm in another place that is not my objective. I'm going to be so overexplored by the time I continue the story. <laughs> Which is how this whole thing started when I was in the lobby and I was poking around every single corner and everyone was like, Just keep going! I'm like, no, you can't make me. Hello. Everything past that door seems miserable. Alright. Find an information kiosk or something. Ooh, life support. Have I been to life support yet? I don't think I have. That's one of the places attached to Talos Lobby, probably via the elevator? Maybe we could turn the elevator back on from there. Ooh, and there's the power plant we heard about. Interesting. This is super interesting how the game's this non-linear, by the way. That you can actively just go wherever the hell you feel like all the time. I just hope that it doesn't have a, uh... Three Dog moment from Fallout 3. Cause for those who don't know, there's a whole... Uh, in Fallout 3... You just pop out of your house, and you're like, or out of your vault, and it's like, hey, let's go explore and see what happens, and blah, blah, blah. Then, uh, if you make the mistake of over-exploring, you can walk straight into the into one of the important places that leads to the discovery of where your dad is, and you just completely miss out on characters like Three Dog even existing in the story, basically. Uh, because it just skips that entire part. Which is a bummer, because that game should be all about exploring, but you can, you can get punished for exploring in the story by just missing huge chunks of content and se sequence breaking the story. I did that in my in my playthrough, which is not a complete playthrough, but it was a uh, back when I had the Patreon sponsored hour things, people would be like, "I play this game for an hour." And so I did that a few times and they stopped asking for it. But uh so I never got finished at the time, but I was doing a let's beat Fallout 3 as fast as possible for my own amusement. Morgan? This is Chief Elazar. Morgan, cargo bay doors been sealed shut. There's creatures flooding the area. We don't want them getting out. Any more than they already have. We are safe in here for the moment. Do what you can for anyone else still out there, and maybe we can salvage this. A living character is contacting me. I must try to save them. Shipping company. Level 2 hack. I'll get in there. Ah, crap. I mixed them up again. How do I always do that? Oh. Gotcha. The sound. That was a weird... That was a really weird sound. Q, thank you. I can't thank you enough for the risk you're taking on my behalf. On behalf of the volunteers who no longer have a voice in this, uh, you thought... The thought of you cooped up in that cargo container hurtled towards the earth, it kills me. Even though Will says it's safe and that you'll have plenty of food. I know the evidence on the Thunder Drive cannot make amends for everything that's happened, but exposing the truth can prevent it from happening again. Thank you, my friend, AG. So basically... Yeah, so like as you'd expect, the stuff happening to the volunteers is probably really messed up, so it looks like they're trying to sneak... It looks like they're trying to sneak out information to leak about what happened by th putting one of these people in a cargo bay. Did they put the flashlight on again? I don't remember how I can't remember how to bring the flashlight. It was not F? What the hell did they map it to? Damn it. I hate forgetting how to- I forget- I hate forgetting what hotkey something is in a PC game sometimes. Alright, uh, so I just gave him some food. They're just gonna launch him at Earth and just see how things work out, basically. Okay, that, that same kind of sound just happened again, so I think the sound I heard was the sound of one of those items colliding when it loaded in, and it was like bouncing around in place. Weird. And at least Galagos' thumb drive. 
The drive in your possession contains incriminating evidence related to illegal experiments performed aboard Talos 1 and Psychotronics Labs. This includes, but is not limited to, classified internal memorandums, uh, key research data scanning several, spanning several decades, names and roles of all personal, personnel involved, uh, volunteer IDs matched with their real names. This information will corroborate the, the existence of an extraterrestrial species called Typhon, as well as the fact that all neuromods are made at the expense of human victims. I harbor no illusions that this will be easy to believe, but I can testify to its veracity, assuming I am still alive, because I was a participant in many of the experiments uh, refer referenced. Dr. Annalise Scott Gallagher. So this is... Wow. There goes Whistleblower, just like that. That's neat. It's interesting knowing that, like, in a... Whoa, why'd that happen twice? <laughs> Weird. It's cool knowing that, like, the... An obs uh, quest I picked up where it's just, like, I found that... I found on a, on a PC and stuff like that, I found this body, and people that were fighting back against what's going on and trying to leak the information, and then I, uh... Found a random. I, I opened a random cargo thing, and I uncovered the remainder of like the the follow up of the end of that quest, and what is an entirely missable, semi obscure, like sealed box that's just kind of sitting around. I was already down here, right? Yeah. Well, now we are completing side objectives in this session, aren't we? It's worth poking your head around. So there's someone alive, seeming I think in there somewhere. Are they up there? They're apparently somewhere safe. This thing is full of phantoms. Probably a very dangerous spot. Ooh, can I scan that? The answer is yes. Yes, I can. Oops. Neat. I can't get through there. It's sealed up to defend them. They're basically just straight up saying, hey, go do other stuff instead of going through here. But can't help but want to help. No new data there. Can you attack me through here? There's Austin Cool. A lot of phantoms. Is that guy working up there or is he waving at me? How weird is it just what what in the world that's a living person up there and there's enemies right here you would not think they'd be anywhere near safe with that proximity I'm not necessarily in a hurry to break their containment because it seems like it'd be dangerous for everyone but I wonder if there's a secret way to get in that I can use so I can go check things out for myself Thank you, and thank you. Oh, there's, there's, they seem really perturbed by my existence because they're just staring me down through there now. Five Neuromods again, oh my god. Alright. Let's get some of that health now. There we go. Tempting it as is to go for Hacking Forward, but I've never seen a Hacking Forward device before yet, so I'm not in the biggest hurry for that either. Combat Focus. Enter a state of Combat Focus for 10 seconds, which... Uh, in which time slows around you and actions cost 50% stamina. Try that around. Alright. And this is the stealth one. Enemies can take longer to detect you when you're sneaking or crawling. And then just move around without making noise. And then more damage for the sneak attacks. Also worth getting. Basically I want everything on this entire screen. And... Most stuff. Probably don't need the psionic stuff. This is let me upgrade the other types of weapons. This is wrench stuff, so I'd say top priority is max out this screen, more or less. Which will still take a while. That'll keep me busy for a while, but I may want to get these ones for the lab tech upgrades. Mainly for you? No, because you're not a lab item, you're a security item, surprisingly. So maybe I can get away with not upgrading lab. Recharge rate. Yeah, I've got a ton of weapon upgrade kits. Let's go for recharge rate. There we go. 
upgrading the crap out of the stun gun. Recoil ammo capacity. Let's bump up the ammo capacity on this kind on this thing because it's uh clips or I mean it's a uh, cart whatever. Its capacity sucks. And I do have to reload mid-fight sometimes. Now it's up to eight. Can eventually get to ten. Damn. There we go. I'm trying not to hoard materials too much, so I'm trying to spend stuff as we go with reasonable frequency at the very least. Alright, I'm... Whoa! Oh, combat focus. Combat focus enhances your overall abilities. When active, time slows around you and actions cost less stamina. At higher levels, your combat damage will also increase. Combat focus can be equipped from the favorites wheel. Oh, weird. So I have to go, like, click here. And that will use Psy, so that is a reason to have Psy, I suppose. And not that, so I can use that every- I can use that five times before I have to recharge my Psy. Whoop! Did that actually get through to me or no? Do I want to go to life support, or do I want to... You're closed. You're closed. Just trying to make doubly sure there's no alternate way into the room, because I would love to poke around if I can. The things seem pretty sealed off at the moment. I'm not entirely sure if I understand what I did here, though, so... And we did cargo processing, so what opened or moved when I did that exactly? Huh. So I was actually right next to the the uh, console I needed to go to before I even fought that dude. I just went after him because of course, of course I did. Don't see any ceiling events. I feel really dumb, which I'm sure is... Someone probably also thinks I look really dumb right now. But yeah, I did, the I did the processing thing, and I'm like, I'm not actually sure what I just did. I just... They gave me a goal, so I went for it. Uh Ooh, what's that? Oh, is that where I came from? Yes, it is. Interesting. This is the path I used to get in. Did something change in the other room? Did that cargo move out of the way or something? Hello. Would have missed you when I was running through. Alright, well, I'll, I'll try to satisfy my curiosity and look around in guts real quick to see if anything changed in the immediate area. Because I don't... I just don't know... I just don't entirely know what processing meant. But otherwise, I'm gonna go check out life support, I think. And just keep exploring. Microgravity detected. I also want to get in there, because there's stuff in there. Is there a way inside? You're locked. You're all locked, huh? How precisely does that lock work? Is there a way to unlock you from behind, or something? They do have overrides. Bolt caster might help here. Or maybe completely impossible to pierce the uh, grid. It's hard to say for sure, honestly. I think I got them all. Might be able to make the shot from down here. Yeah. There we go. This is my favorite thing, this dumb gun. I can carry this? Oh my god. I mean, I guess we are in space, kind of. Yeah. 
Hello, cube beam cells, broken cooler fan. Why is that being stored behind a locked gate? Die hypos. These safes are weirdly unsafe because none of them are actually locked, which kind of defeats the purpose of safes, I think. I like the detail that everything else here is like tied down because yeah, it's free floating. And they'd, so they'd have to. But this thing isn't, or is it? It seems it seems like it might be strapped down, except for the part where I can apparently carry it. Opening doors with the bolt caster might be one of my favorite parts of this game. It's so it's such a great idea. Such a great silly idea. It's the liberate the volunteer thing. Ooh. Oh boy, how many of you are openable? I should check around. Oh, hacking four. That's what I get for having just finished saying that there's- I don't see hacking four anywhere. Alright, well, may want to save up to it next. That'll cost me eight points. If I keep poking around at this rate, I seem to find them relatively frequently. So that's the cargo door they warned me not to open, didn't they? Alright, so let's see if I can review. There's he was December psychotronics. Yeah, we know about that. Smuggling thing. The cargo door and guts. Trouble processing. I located a cargo processing workstation at the airlock between cargo bay and guts. There appears to be a lot of cargo trapped in the space between and the processing systems offline until the system is reactivated by both guts and cargo bay. Once I complete the process, I can open the airlock and guts and access the cargo. Corpse vanishes. How does the cargo door work? Am I putting them in danger or me? Like they said, they're, they're like they're sealed off. We're safe for now. Go ahead and leave, and we'll t we can take care of this. Is basically what they were saying, or something along those lines. Can I go in there and clear them all out and have them be safe, or am I killing them all by pressing this button? Is what I'm not super sure about, which is concerning. Well, I know one way to find out a little bit. Was there a... They contacted me. Is that, in, is that in data? Notes. Thank you. Not there. Not in the audio logs. I don't think it comes up. I was hoping for a System Shock 2 thing where I could review the exact thing that they said earlier. Because in System Shock 2, if anyone talks to you on the radio ever, you can review the dialogue about it. Which would help me clear up the situation here. Let's see how it goes! Howdy. Well, you look hackable. Oh, that's a weird starting spot. All right, uh, get around. Uh, C. Oh, that's the wrong one. C. Where the hell? There we go. Oh, that's a weird camera angle. All right, it was inside. Might actually be safe. Ooh, healing items. More psi hypos I can turn into exotic materials if I want to. Ah, camera angle is getting confu- Alright. How do we do? Anything on the other side? Oh right, that was the- that was on top. Or like this direction? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is the most disorienting thing. Okay, I don't think I've opened you. Or you guys, even. There we go. Taking what I got. Ooh, a new chip. Electrostatic amp. 
Boost the amount of damage done by electrostatic burst. Alright, well I don't use that. So no reason to equip that. Is that when I opened or nope, this was already open. Apparently. Somewhat disorienting. Okay. So I opened that. That's the main chamber. Around ooh, might have not been in that yet. The one that's the one that looks like it's actually attached to the the regular ship. Hello. More bullets for me, thank you. That's like one of the top priority things. The back is closed, surprisingly. Do you open? No. If this is the only door that I opened, then I guess I was misconnecting the situation between uh, this location and the cycle thing and stuff versus those people that were talking to me on the radio. Which is good news, if they're not in danger. Is there anything behind this thing? No, it's crushed right up against the wall. Alright, well then let's check out... Let's check out life support, huh? I can tell where I am half the time, so those doors don't seem to open. That's regular storage. I believe I've been in all three of these things now. So I guess there's my reward for what I did. Neat. Getting more crap. <laughs> I like crap. Don't you like crap? That health. I'll, this thing does the thing that actually that I find satisfying in games, which is when you increase your health bar, and the actual bar gets bigger. It really makes you feel like you're making progress over time with your character when the actual bars get physically larger by a noticeable amount. Just having the number go up isn't quite as satisfying as having the physical thing Micro extend. You technically could increase your health in Dishonored, but it was, in Dishonored 2 and stuff, but it was so minor. Like, in, in Dishonored, you get a shard of glass-looking thing for your health and your energy. And if you got the upgrade that increases it, you got a second little nip poking off the edge of the uh, shard of glass, and it's like, well, that's disappointing. It doesn't feel like you did anything. I don't know why I approached that as if I thought I was going to do something. All right. Let's check out life support now. Oh man, it's so great to be on the ground again. But just to be clear, everything's chill around here. Yeah, he's still up there just chilling. As far as I can tell, the manual override just flat out doesn't work and I can't force it open either. Let's check out life support then. We're doing some good old fashioned exploring where I'm gonna have a b gonna have a billion neuromods by the time I continue the story. I think I value environmental exploration more than I value mo most other parts of video games. <laughs> Etheric Phantom. What? There we go. Had to go slightly closer, that's about it. Don't suppose I could get a... I've never been here, right? Nope, not e don't even have a map. Don't suppose I could get myself a nice, uh... turret here and there. I miss those guys. Coming over here? Well, that's good. I can get around there at least. And he might be suspicious right now, which I can use to my advantage. He 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 he. Okay. Fun trick. He split into two. Does that mean I get double the loot or no? Oh, dead person. Oh, that's a bad time. 
I'm probably gonna wanna fix the lightning problem there. Yeah, that covers the entire passageway. I'll explore though, just to sit, try to save on a... I could try to save on spare parts, because sometimes there is in fact a uh, connecting thing where you can turn off the power. Nope, we're clear. Ooh. I already have a suit repair, never mind. It's not a new one. Jose. That's air fixed air mixture regulators. Jose. Annual maintenance is coming up soon on the air mixture regulators and atmosphere. Let Max know about getting a head start. He has the fabrication plan for them. Oh, little spaceman rocket dude. Equipment follow up. Two people have checked out equipment and failed to return it. Ari... Ari Lunart? Lunart? Roger Meyer. From Jose Costa to those two people. Jose says, Consider this a friendly reminder that you still have the department equipment checked out. It was supposed to be returned at the end of your last shift, even if you intend to check it out again. You cannot just keep it until you are done. I know it's a pain, but it's our process, and if you don't check that stuff in today, there will be fines automatically applied to your next pay cycle. Five spare parts and a glue cannon. Wait, what? A glue cannon is a tool, so I see that being a thing you check back in, but spare parts are like an item you're supposed to- aren't you supposed to use that? Like, forever? Like, use it up? Spare parts being a thing you're supposed to return just sounds bizarre. Oh well. They're teasing me with the idea that there's five spare parts waiting for me somewhere, so there's that. Fried hard drive. Oops, spare parts. There's one. Even though it's not the same one. Two. Hey! Always happy to find it. Got a new weapon upgrade kit. Might as well just throw it right into here. No. Click. Upgrade. There we go. Ammo capacity of 10. Now its ammo capacity is a not insignificant portion of its overall ammo period. There you go. That's a really qu that's a really neat ammo display still. All right. Oh, I got it the first time. Yep. There's something on top. I don't trust you. What are you hiding back there? I'm allowed to check now. <laughs> now if anything blocks a door with a piece of heavy, I can get out I can get it right out of the way and check right inside. Nothing hidden away. What was that thing I saw on the ground? Okay, I'm not crazy. There was a piece of glass there that oh yeah, I thought it disappeared, but that's just the reflection having a significant impact on how visible it is. Oh wow, you could like jump your way into this room. Probably. Oh. 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 Having platforming mishaps. First person platforming is always really weird. I jump like a spaceman now. Alright. I'm way up here now. Oh. Maybe I don't need to take out the, the electricity problem. Sneak straight through there. Probably an option. I'm gonna keep this in mind, but I don't think I want to leave yet. I'm still trying to check this place out. 